Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey. I welcome you to this, our latest episode of Stories from the Bible by Rick West. And today's story is the story of Saul. Or is it the story of Paul? Or is it Paul Saul? How about Saul Paul? Well, getting complicated. Why don't I just tell you the story? I'm in my storytelling vest. And once upon a time, about 2,000 years ago, when Christianity was first starting, most of the converts to Christianity had grown up Jewish. Indeed, Jesus was Jewish. All of his original disciples were Jewish. It was, it was a sect within Judaism. And you know, the ruling council of the Jews in Jerusalem had a big debate about this. Is this something that should scare us or should it really not scare us? And one of the more famous rabbis stood up at the ruling council and he said, you know, if this growing Christianity is the will of God, we will never be able to stop it. So why should we stop it? Let's do God's will. And if it isn't God's will, well, it's going to burn itself out. So. Why don't we just kind of leave them alone and see what happens? Well, not everyone saw it that way. Some people wanted to take matters into their own hands and snuff out those Christians. And yes, they really did kill Christians. The first Christian martyr that we know of was a man named Stephen. He was talking about Jesus and a whole crowd gathered together and they threw rocks at him until he died. And right at the time of his death, he looked up into heaven and he said, I see Jesus there. So it's okay that I die. I'll be seeing Jesus face to face very soon. Now, all these people who were throwing rocks... Well, they took their coats off to, so they get a better throw. And there was a man named Saul who was standing there. He wasn't throwing rocks, but he put out his arms and he was holding everyone's coats. He was just as much part of Stephen's death as the rock throwers. And then Saul went to court, the Jewish court. And said, give me written instructions so I can arrest those Christians and bring them down here to prison. So Saul set off to the north into what is now, oh, what, I guess it's, um, I guess it's part of Lebanon, where he went and also into Damascus, Syria. And he went and he was grabbing people and locking them up. And then suddenly, something very weird happened. As he was riding his horse, a bolt of lightning came down, thunder came down. He was knocked off his horse, and he was blind. Here, I'll show you a classic oil painting of that. They, he was blind. Now, they took him to a house to see if he was going to recover or not. And God went to the home of a man named Ananias. And God said to Ananias, you've got to go over to this house and you're going to cure this man Saul and Ananias said excuse me 
I'm going to cure the man who's been arresting all the Christians. Is that the same Saul? And God said, yeah, you're going to go cure him. Why do you want him cured? As long as he's blind, he can't go running around persecuting people and arresting people. What are you thinking? Well, you know, God had already set something up. Because when Paul or Saul got knocked off his horse, Jesus had appeared to him and said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Saul said, who are you? I'm the Lord Jesus. Now I'm going to send someone to cure you, but now you're going to be my disciple. So Saul is waiting in this house. And this man Ananias came and Ananias really didn't want to be there. This was an enemy. Would you want to cure an enemy? The enemy's harming you. Good. Keep him blind. But he obeyed. He was faithful to God. He obeyed. And he prayed and put his hands over Saul's eyes. And things that looked like fish scales came off. And Saul could see again. And Saul's name now became Paul. You might have heard of him. The Apostle Paul. Saint Paul. He went crazy for Christ. And he planted churches all through the Greek world. All through Turkey. And he had a lot of hardships himself. A few times he was beaten. He was imprisoned. He was shipwrecked. But he remained faithful to God. Do you know people who are really nasty and mean? Do you think they could ever change? Well, if we take this story seriously, we know that they can if God wills it. How about you? You've got some stuff inside you you don't like. Maybe some meanness, maybe some anger. And you wish you could change those things. Well, guess what? You can't change. But God can change you if you ask and if you let God do that. Saul persecuted the church. And he became Paul, one of the greatest evangelists of the church. That means he can change by God's will. We can change if God changes us. And, you know, people we don't like who might be mean or acting badly, they can change too if God changes them. Do we pray for God to change them? Do we let God do God's will? Or do we sometimes, like Paul did when he was Saul, try to take matters in our own hands? That's what happened when Stephen was killed. So the message today is, yes, God can change us if we ask for it. God can change us if we are, if that will help the church. And God can change other people. So if others are not acting well, let's pray that God would change them. This is Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church, Bergenfield, New Jersey, with our story of so all who became Paul. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, comment. I want more kids to be able to see and hear these stories, and I can't do it without your help. So, God bless you all this week and every week to come.